just the song just started forming and before we knew it we're like guys we've got all this material you know let's get it out there let's let's show the people what we've got and that's how the album formed Started before I joined them. Uh, they were a cover band. Yeah, it was a completely different lineup. Um, I was the only original member. Then a uh, the bass player left, and we got Chris from the training post. Coming out of all places. There was a mistake on behalf of whoever put in the uh, ad, but yeah, there was this ad for a bass player wanted in the training post under you know, bass guitar, so I gave them a call. We changed singers, got Phil. That's what really changed the band in the end. Uh, they were together for a good three years, I think so, before I um, uh, come onto the scene. I found them through an ad. I answered the ad, they were looking for a singer. Um, I went I went to the audition and then it turned out that they had already had a singer and they wanted a guitarist. So um, uh, I auditioned for the guitarist spot and as it turned out, um, I ended up being the singer. Uh, slash with the guitarist. When the old guitarist in Newskin left, I said to Ant, if you need any help, you know, give us a call. And he did. And sort of as a friend thing, I said, yeah, I'll do it. So he gave me a copy of a CD to listen to. I didn't even listen to it. I sort of went in and thought, oh, how hard can this be to play? But I got in there and started jamming with the boys and I really, really liked the music. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to give this a chance. And not too long after that, I said to the old band, you know, I would, found a band that I feel really comfortable with and I'm going to get in there and do it and yeah, I joined New Skin and ever since then it's been like an awesome thing. We're kind of on that borderline of metal and rock. That's the good thing about New Skins, everyone's open for change and um, really, really able to you know, express everyone's sort of influences. Old school hard rocker, like I grew up listening to the likes of Kiss and Metallica and Megadeth. Moved on into some sort of heavier Pantera type Slayer and uh, found that my sort of idols were people like Dying from Pantera. He's a really big influence in my life and just to his musical styles uh, really what drove me to become the guitarist that I become today. Lars Ulrich, uh, just watching him as a youngster, just made me want to pick up sticks and play the drums. This big double bass kid. I, I love my heavy stuff as well, but I, I also take a lot of things from you know, uh, jazz and blues and um, a lot of the softer stuff. You know, I, I, I pretty much like everything. And if there's music behind it, I enjoy it. Andy will jump on the kit and start banging some tunes to it. And Chris will walk in and lay a bass track down. We'll get together and write some lyrics. And usually, that's how a song goes. It's not somebody brings in a whole idea and says, you know, this is a song, this is how I want it to go. It's, it's, it's more so a big... Uh, milkshake of everybody's ideas. It's a case of everyone just brings something and lets everyone take away from it and you know, add their own little thing, change change parts and stuff like that. And that's the good thing about New Skin is everyone's open for change and um, really, really able to you know, express everyone's sort of influences and stuff like that.
Yeah, for this album we made sure we did a few months pre-production um, just to get the songs 100% how we want them. The album Life and Loss, um, we recorded at um, Hello Night Productions with uh, uh, producer and engineer extraordinaire Sean O'Sullivan. Um, he was fantastic. He's been a breath of fresh air. I'm Sean from Hello Night Productions. Uh, new skin came to me well, probably the end of last year. Um, we spent a lot of time with them getting the songs right, the great songs, um, but a little bit too unradio friendly. So the first job was to um, break the songs down away from the recording, to break them down and make them very listenable for a first time listen. When you're playing in the rehearsal room, you're concentrating on your own part, so you don't hear the little little things that everyone else does. And um, it was really good just to sort of sit back and go, oh, is that what you've, well, is that what you've done all this time? That sounds really, really good. And, and it's good to just you know, analyze riffs and stuff like that. So, we really need that, we really want that, we want to put that, and blowing our socks off. jamming away for months before we went to the studio, then did even more pre-production in the studio with Sean. And, um, you know, Sean had his own input on the songs and we took that on board and the songs what they are today are a lot better. I'm really open to any of my ideas. Um, one thing, I like bands that know what they want, um, especially Crossman on the drums. He knew what sound he wanted and he, uh, he went for it. And if I didn't get the sound right, he would tell me about it. Um, and I think in the end, it, which is really pleasing, he said, yeah, drums are okay. <laughs> then I knew that the drums were great. the song from start to finish and just go, wow, we actually wrote that sort of thing. I'm, I've come out with a big smile because I'm really happy with what we finally laid down. 